This summer, I flew my ultralight to Oshkosh. I learned a lot when I was in the air. It took me six days, 42 hops, flying every day, airport to airport. There was a lot of kind of independence, scenery, and it was something that not every pilot gets to do during their teen years. All right. So I heard you flew to Oshkosh from South yeah. Carolina. How was that? At first, it was like, just like awkward clench, like holding on to the controls really tightly and Feeling a little nervous? Yeah. Yep. That was how my first flight went, but then after a while it became pretty second nature. And then turbulence became second nature and then <laughs> I kind of I, I got much better as a pilot when I was flying there. The first time I ever went airborne was when I was thirteen and I was flying in a powered paraglider. It was what I needed to do in order to make sure I, I didn't freak out if something bad happened. And if I did, then I wouldn't crash and it wouldn't be fatal. I remember when I got into the air, I was like screaming. I was like, oh my gosh, my feet aren't on the ground. I'm by myself in this. <laughs> oh man, look at you smiling there. Yeah, big smile. <laughs> I've never seen something like this in my life, so. <laughs> it, it seems advanced, but it's actually fairly similar to what you do. The difference is, right, instead of doing like a fuel calculation, our fuel is battery energy. The difference between a piston engine and electrical aviation for us is we don't get more efficient the higher we go. Obviously, most of the energy goes towards flying it, and then it's distributed to the other components? Yes, yeah, exactly, right? So you start with your batteries are just a bunch of packaged energy, and then you send a lot of that energy to the motor to keep you propelled forward, and then a subset of that energy is basically sent to your, your flight control systems. And then these are just obviously a bunch of buttons. Yes, so this one would be basically your push to talk, and then this resets your trim. This is your trim hat. It's like less but more in this airplane. I fly an Aerolite 103. It's a non-licensed aircraft. It's like a really basic airplane. This year, I started training sometime in March to fly to Oshkosh. You learn a lot of independence. If you, if you really wanna fly and you really wanna go down that path, you have to be the one pulling the weight. Flying is one of the things that has been getting me closer to going to the Air Force. That's kind of like my, my dream job in the future. Maybe one day they're gonna put me in this airplane and I'll be flying this around. <laughs> <laughs>